For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We continue to enjoy New England in the summer of 2022, and in this video we are sharing our visit to Acadia National Park. We stayed at three campgrounds in the area, Camden Hills State Park and two parks located in Acadia National Park, Seawall Campground and Scudic Woods Campground. Our first campground in Maine we visited was Camden Hill State Park located in Camden, Maine. We were there in late July and spent three nights in the campground. We were on site 18 and with their discounts it cost us $43.15 per night. The campground had no hookups but it did have a dump station. We enjoyed the hiking trail that led us to Mount Batty with beautiful views of Camden and the Penobscot Bay and the surrounding islands. The hike was a bit challenging because it was uphill all the way. There's Joe way up there on the top of the hill. We visited the town of Camden, a charming New England town featuring shops that are within walking distance to the working harbor. You can take a harbor cruise, whale and puffin watches are available daily. We decided against the cruises since they go way out into the ocean and decided to visit the local brewery instead and walk around the harbor. Acadia National Park is large and spread out. The website states it has over 50,000 acres along the Atlantic coastline of Maine, including Mount Desert Island, Scudic Peninsula, the Isle of Haunt, I'm sure I didn't say that right, and other islands. There are 60 miles of coastline, 33 miles of scenic motor roads, 45 miles of carriage roads, and more than 150 miles of hiking trails that provide numerous ways to explore the park. On our first visit, it was very exciting, but we barely scratched the surface. Seawall Campground is located within Acadia National Park. We spent seven nights in July of 2022, and with our America the Beautiful Pass, we paid $15 per night with no hookups. Our tanks are large in the outdoors travel trailer, and we were able to camp comfortably for seven nights without the hookups. The campground was tight, and we were camped right next to another camper. The blue line provides a boundary for the site, and I have to admit it was a bit challenging to get into the site because of the location. One of the best features of the campground was the Island Explorers bus system. We rode the bus to visit Bar Harbor to do some shopping, walking around, and ate some lunch. We visited Sand Beach on an overcast day. It was beautiful, but a bit cold, so we did not go swimming. Did I mention there are over 150 miles of hiking trails in Arcadia National Park? One of our favorite activities is hiking and exploring the sites along the trails. Some of the trails were easy and we found others to be challenging because of going uphill and lots of rocks on the paths. The scenery was beautiful. Some days were bright and blue while other days were cloudy and overcast. Rock Beach, we think. <laughs> All rocks down there.
Jamaica Beach is one of two swimming beaches in the park. It was a beautiful day when we visited, and Joe could not resist swimming in the ice cold water. <laughs> When we had lunch in Bar Harbor, the lobster rolls were $31 each. We just didn't think we could go back and do that again. We decided for our next lobster meal, we would purchase the lobsters and cook them. They were delicious, but I have to admit, I do not enjoy cooking them alive. It was all up to Joe to feed us this meal. <music> Cadillac Mountain is one of the most popular places in the park. Vehicle reservations are required to visit this area because it is so crowded and parking is limited. We went during the day and hiked around. There were beautiful views, being the highest point on the eastern seaboard. Staying at Seawall Campground in Acadia National Park was a wonderful experience. It was an excellent place to camp and to be able to visit Bar Harbor, hike, and visit Mount Desert Island. We would definitely visit this area again. Our last campground we visited was Scudic Woods in Winter Harbor, Maine. We stayed seven nights in Site B-21, and with our discounts, we paid $25 per night with electric and water hookups. This is the newest campground in the park, and we loved this campground. It is in a more remote section of Acadia National Park. The sites were large, private, and had gravel, which made it very clean. We had wonderful cool weather and had to force ourselves to sightsee. Scudic Institute partners with Acadia National Park to provide research and education. According to the website, over 85 research projects are ongoing throughout the park. The outside area is beautiful and we enjoyed the rocks and splashing waves. It's a little rough here. Scudic Point, Acadia National Park, Maine. There was lots of hiking near the campground and we loved exploring. Very wooded in here.
On another day, we took a ferry from Winter Harbor to Bar Harbor. We saw lots of dolphins and enjoyed the cruise. More shopping in Bar Harbor, and we tried to walk on the bar of Bar Harbor. This is a natural land bridge, and it takes about two hours. We did not have enough time before the high tide was coming back in, so we were not able to cross. We had a great time in Acadia National Park and highly recommend visiting this area. Seawall Campground was a great location and the bus system provided great transportation to and from the popular areas of the park. Scudic Point Campground was private and provided access to a more secluded part of the park, which we enjoyed very much. Of course, we'll have to return because we were just barely able to scratch the surface of the things to do. It was a great experience. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.